Damn! <laughs> Alrighty guys, just a quick one for you. Um, so why did I buy this? Why did I purchase the DJI FBB drone? And the answer is, I told you guys like two years ago when this thing released that if I ever found one for a good deal, I'd buy it. Well, I picked one up for 400 bucks and batteries and extra parts and arms and all sorts of craziness. Um, I prefer to fly freestyle home built rigs. Bought this for a couple of reasons. One, cheap. Uh, two, it came with all the uh, version two stuff, which allows me, if I wanted to in the future, to switch all my equipment over and adapt it to digital if I can ever find something that's not operating on DJI's protocols. Um, with that being said, the whole reason I bought this is because it was cheap. I got it for like 400 bucks. I mean, that's, that's stupid cheap. Can't even buy the goggles for that. So, it's like I got a case, I got two batteries, I got the whole drone, I got the transmitter, I got all of it for 400 bucks. I mean, just hard to argue with. So that being said, I bought it because I wanted long range stuff. This is not going to be a bird uh, that is going to be freestyled heavily. I may do some freestyle stuff with this, uh, very specific shots, but I wanted something capable of going a couple miles away with acro without range anxiety issues because... I knew to swap all my equipment over to ELRS and all that stuff, it would cost me what it would just to buy this from that guy. And I still wouldn't have digital at that point. So as much as I'm not a huge fan of digital, when it comes to long range stuff, I would definitely want a digital system. I just, the better I can see, the further out I am, the happier I'm going to be. So if you want to watch the content from this, as Rodney said, it was bought for a calculated reason. Well, he's correct. As much as I talk trash about DJI and poo, I'm not happy with the restrictions. The first thing I'm going to do is figure out how to remove all that bull crap on the system and see if I can amplify the power and make it better. Um, I, I hate no fly restrictions. I hate all that crap that DJI tries to put on you. If I buy something, it is mine. You have no control over it. This is my property. I want to make decisions with my property. I don't want you making decisions for me with property that I own because then I feel like I'm renting the space from you. I'm just renting this from you you get to make the decisions of what I do. So technically I'm, I'm just renting this from you. That's how I look at it. So the, the first thing I'm going to do is figure out how to wipe the system that's on here and make it so that it can do this without the annoyance of all the DJI bullshit that comes along with DJI. So just made sense. That's why I bought it. You guys are wondering, but if you want to see those flights and you want to see the stuff that I'm going to be doing with this, you unfortunately you're going to have to go over and subscribe to Barbarian FPV. This is kind of my last warning. Um, that I'm going to give you guys for the drone people. I realize some people miss notifications. YouTube doesn't push them, whatever. That's the reason I'm pushing this so many times uh, so that everyone is aware that if you're looking for drone content from me now, you need to subscribe to Barbarian FPV and turn on notifications. I posted a video yesterday. I got 30 views. I posted a video on this channel about my Barbarian FPV uh, a couple days ago, and it got 150 views. So clearly there's people interested uh, that went over to Barbarian. The problem is the next video I uploaded, like 30 people showed up. So it's not that my content sucks, it's that YouTube isn't notifying you. So until you start commenting on my videos, YouTube's not going to help you with that algorithm to see when I post things. So if you're not commenting, you're not pushing the like button, YouTube thinks that you just subscribed and moved on. That's it. So if you actually want notifications from me and you turn them on, you should probably comment or like the video or something so that the algorithm detects that you're interested in my channel and you'll see future uploads from me because YouTube, that's the way they operate their system now. So just throwing that out there. So let's, uh, let's get these over there. I got to meet up with Clinton. We're going to take a look at these things and, and see what is going on, what firmware is on this. Um, I think, think there's a few mods and patches I want to do to this right out the hole before we even take it out. I don't want to fly it in stock form. I also want to adjust the PIDs and rates. So we're going to do that. So that's the reason I bought one, right? I hate DJI as a company. I don't hate their products. Their products are amazing. I hate DJI as a company. Overall, they suck. I hate DJI. So that's just what it is. I don't care if you like DJI. I don't give a shit. I don't care. I don't like DJI as a company. I don't want to buy a product and then be told what to do with it. That's just the end of the facts. I am a person. I make my own decisions. I don't want a company telling me what I can and can't do with my own personal property. I bought a car. I expect to be able to drive my car. If I want to plow it through 50 people, that's my choice. And I deal with the consequences. Same thing should be, apply here. Sorry. Just being honest, man. All right, guys. Catch you on the flip. See you over at Barbarian FPV. If you haven't checked it out yet, there'll be a link in the description below. I'll catch you guys on the flip.
Baby, let's rock. Are you sure this is okay? You're in country, dude. Live a little. Now, she's pretty sensitive, so go easy on the throttle, okay? All right. <laughs>